Let's just start with how retirement is different for this generation of retirees than it has been for prior generations. Yeah, let's keep in mind that for our grandmas and grandpas, if they were fortunate enough to reach retirement age, they expected a couple of years of time after work. And since work was largely physical, a chance to relax and rest, maybe take a trip, visit with the family, and then their batteries wore out. For our parents, it was a little bit more of an extended period of life. And we got to watch our moms and dads retire, not for three or four years, but often for 15 or 20 The boomers are a whole different kettle of fish. Boomers think of this as a whole new chapter in life, a time to reinvent oneself, a time to think of new things to do, maybe to relocate, make new friends, remove toxic friends from your scene. Uh, If you're widowed or divorced, maybe fall in love again. Uh, A much more aspirational, hopeful view of long life. But I do want to say that uh, in my own family, I'm going to tag to something you were mentioning early on, I was lucky enough to have a mom and dad who had 71 years together. Wow. But my dad was blind for his last 10 years. and My mother had Alzheimer's her last 12 years, neither of which either of them would have imagined for themselves. And I want to tell you, my dad was a diabetic. And so he imagined he would live 60 or 65 years. And he made sure he has sufficient resources to go those years and then to have our mom looked after after that. Well, my dad lived to 93. He far outlived his money. And my mom did too. And so how hard was it for him to have to take a check from me every month? He was a very proud guy, never wanted to be a burden on the family. And that's the way a lot of boomers feel. They don't ever want to be a burden on their families But if they live longer than they have got the money for, that's exactly what's going to happen. 